Hi my friends, it's me, Julie, and I'm back with a new video and a new number system. Um, so we have new number cards. I was scared they might be confusing with the zeros, but that's how we had to get them. So this is number one. Um, anyway, so that's what we're gonna use for numbers from right for now, um, from now on. And if you'd like to order anything, if you check the description, there's step-by-step -step instructions on ordering. Basically, you shoot me an email at mymamaandme at outlook.com. Same name is here on YouTube at outlook.com. And tell me the numbers of the items that you want. These numbers will correspond with a piece of jewelry. And tell me your name and address for shipping. And if you want to pay through PayPal, PayPal or credit card. That's basically all you have to do. There's also a sold list, the top comment, and we'll tell you what's already gone. So if you have your heart set on number one and it, you look in that top comment there and it says sold list and one is on it, it is sold. So unfortunately, it's gone. Um, look at this match, huh? Look at that. I look all coordinated. I look with it. Woo woo. Okay. Anyway, here we go. More vintage jewelry extravaganza. I hope you guys aren't sick of vintage. <laughs> I did notice there are some modern pieces in here too that we'll be seeing. Um, I'm gonna start off with this cloisonne piece, which has a really good weight to it. It's a vintage cloisonne piece, possibly restrung at one point or another. Um, it is knotted in between, so maybe it did come that way. It is absolutely amazing. I'm going to tell you, I'm not a huge cloisonne fan, just for me. Um, and this piece is beautiful. I think it's so, so pretty. Um, it has, I believe this is called a box clasp. I should have looked that up. Um, I'm not going to be able to do it on camera. It does work. I did try it. There we go. I did it. <laughs> okay. This guy is a longer strand. It is, let me check my cheat sheet. It has an 11 inch drop. So from the clasp to here, 11 inches. Uh, and this one's going to be $32, $32. Okay. And Susie at Dragonfly Bees Resale shouted me out the other day. So if you are here from Susie, thank you so much for coming and watching. I appreciate you so much. And Susie, you are the bomb. Thank you. I appreciate you. I put lotion on, so of course I'm having problems with the bags. Okay. I'm sorry. Hit the camera too. Oh, well, I got to move on. <laughs> this is kind of a cool ring. Check it out. It's a cool setting. Isn't that neat? Um, it is a size nine and a quarter, and it is um, high grade electro plate. I think that's what it is. I, I'm having a hard time with my mom's writing. Sorry, mom. Uh, it's got to be HG. Yep, high grade electro plate. Okay, and it is $7. $7. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. My dog, <laughs> my puppy's up here. Oh no, I might have spoke too soon. There are two tennis balls up here. And one squeaks really loudly, and she was playing with that, and then lost it, I hope. And the other one, she has popped. So, <laughs> she's got the popped one right now. Um, these cool earrings, check these out. They're in really, really nice condition. They are an inch long, and they are by David Hill. David Hill. I didn't know this brand. I had to look it up. It's right there. All in lowercase letters. David Hill. And these are going to be $13. It's a black. Nope, it's not, guys. It looks black on camera, but this part is navy. Navy and green enamel. Some. I like that these cards are a little smaller. I'm going to be able to fit more on my table, which will be very helpful. Okay. We've got a beaded necklace. It is plastic or acrylic. Um, it has one of those twisty little clasps. I don't know if that's also called a barrel clasp. I don't know. I would say a screw clasp. That's my guess. Uh, it has little gold tone stations. Has a drop of seven and a half inches. And I had this at $10, but I feel like that's too high. Let's 
We're having a coupon, guys. Are you ready? It's going to be $8. $2 off coupon. You guys got to tell me if you say coupon or coupon. I'm very curious, curious about this. <laughs> okay. So we went to see my husband's family up in Vermont, and I took some video of the mountains when we went through the White Mountains in New Hampshire, which just take my breath away every time, um, and some Vermont mountains, the Green Mountains. Is that dirt or a problem? Um, I think it's just a dark spot. You can't really even see it anymore. Um... So I'm going to put them at the end of this video if they came out nice. I haven't looked at it yet. So this is an inch and three, it's, excuse me, inch and a quarter. And it's kind of a good piece. Um, it's by Boucher. And I looked it up and um, $35 is still a deal. So um, if you ever find this piece, it's a good piece, guys. Okay, Boucher, inch and a quarter, uh, $35. Okay, so my... Um, husband's grandparents moved into assisted living. That's why we made sure we headed up. Um, and it's so cool. His uncle and aunt own the assisted living and about 10 family members or so work there. So my, his, I should just call them my grandparents because that's how I feel about them. But anyway, um, Grammy and Grampy are super happy. They get to see their kids and grandkids and even great grandkids. Um, come in to visit all the time, especially the ones that are working there. So it's a really neat environment. It's so cool. I think these are supposed to be faux jade, you guys. They are an acrylic. There are some gold tone balls. A little wear on the balls. A little wear on the balls. It is a long one. Do a little drive-by for you. And what is the drop on this baby? It has a 16-inch drop. Maybe you can double it. I don't know the rules about that, like how long it has to be to double, but it is really pretty. Um, and I will do this one for $12. So yeah, we had tons of fun visiting, but uh, we got there and there was a note on the door. <laughs> and it said, the building has a flu outbreak. And I'm like, oh my gosh. We had to go anyway, because um, unfortunately, Grippy's not doing so well. So um, the flu is worth seeing him. <laughs> Uh, let's see what we've got here. We've got a seven and a half, size seven and a half ring. Really pretty. Faux pearl, I believe. Um, and I could do this one for $7. $7. Nice condition. Um, yeah, and then um, some of the family members were out sick. And then um, we found out the next day a lot more of them were out sick. And I have to say that I am definitely fighting something hopefully coming out on top look at this you guys isn't it great articulated dress so so cute it's two by two and a half um and we can do this one for five dollars so so cute okay so i'm definitely fighting a little something or other um i rested yesterday <laughs> I rested this morning. Uh, hopefully it doesn't nail me. Taking my vitamin D and my vitamin C. Okay, so here's one of those brooches I had mentioned in an earlier video that I had a brooch, uh, two brooches with this the blue dots on them, um, which would look nice with the earrings that were in the last video. This is by Vendome. I hear you, Bryn. Just lay down. Um, it's an inch and three quarter wide, and this one is $20, $20. These are Whiting and Davis earrings. They aren't in the best shape, if I'm honest. Um, they're not horrible. They're just a little bit more worn than I would usually show to you guys. And they might polish up. They might. There they are. They're clippies. And they say Whiting and Davis on them. Let me see if I can get that to show for you. It's going to be really hard. Let's use our little, our little lens. Can we get it to show up? Yep. Whiting and Davis. So these guys are an inch and an eighth wide and they are going to be $4. $4 on the Whiting and Davis. Okay. We got into double digits here, guys. Double digits. <laughs> Um, okay, I love this piece. I think it's so pretty. 
it's another one of those pieces, um, you know, collar necklace, typical vintage gorgeousness, excuse me, gorgeousness. Um, these could be a thermoset plastic. I'm not totally sure. And they have faux pearls and rhinestones. And I am going to have to get up and let her out. I questioned if this could be Bakelite, and I am not a Bakelite pro, guys. I, I don't know a lot about Bakelite, if I'm honest. So that could have been a really silly assumption. Um, but I did test it, and it is not. It has this long piece here. And this long piece here. It has a total length of 15 and a half inches. And I'm going to do this one for $18. $18. Really beautiful. Bryn has this habit of when she does not get her way, she is very much like a child and will do very naughty things until you listen to her. <laughs> and I can hear her grabbing things with her mouth. Naughty, naughty. Okay. Sorry. Um, these are art, which I believe would be Arthur Pepper then. Um, they are really pretty uh, tangles. Look how gorgeous those are. So pretty. Um, they are clips, okay, in perfect condition. Uh, they are, let me see, an inch and three quarter drop, and they are $10. $10. Okay, next. Oh, these are cool. I messed with these forever, you guys, and I didn't want to break them, but they gave me the illusion that maybe that's like a button that pops out so you could change these. I decided to stop messing with it because I don't have others anyway, <laughs> but it really make me, made me think this. Um, potentially milk glass here. Not sure. I did order my new gem tester. It is coming. Thank goodness. Posts. Cool little design here. Maybe that means a maker that I'm not aware of. They're three quarters of an inch long. That is Bren grabbing the gate. Um, they're going to be $8. And I am going to go and let her out. I don't know if I've ever told you this, but um, Bren is like the ultimate thief. She'd like be an amazing cat burglar. <laughs> I've never seen a dog that will tiptoe to steal something, but she does for real tiptoe. So this is a watch fob. Um, I don't know too much about them, but what I do know is I believe this goes through a button, I think, um, and then the pocket watch goes here and it allows you to put your pocket watch in your pocket and keep it safe. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Um, this is made by Hadley and it is gold tone. It's in perfect condition. This one's going to be $10, $10. Are watch fobs collectible? Curious, anybody have a watch fob collection? That'd be really cool. So I do have some Bakelite in this lot. This first piece, these are um, slippery, they're plastic, so they have a little bit of slip to them. Okay, I do have some back Bakelite in this bin uh, that we're going through. The first piece does have a crack, unfortunately. You can see it right there, it is cracked all the way through. Um, I'm pulling it apart, okay? It's a really cool, um, is this one caramel, guys? Tell me, all you Bakelite lovers. It's a chunker. It's a nice one. If you're a beginning Bakelite collector, maybe that wouldn't bother you. Um, so I'm going to do this one for $8, and let's put it on the mandrel. Uh, and it is a seven and three quarter, guys. Seven and three quarter Bakelite. I did test this with um, Simicrone Polish, and if you want to see that, let me know. I will do it for you again. I'm just not going to do it right this second. I have this piece, guys. Not totally sure what it is. I'm wondering if it's a buckle of some kind. Do you see? I'm not totally sure. If you know what it is, I would love to know. I tested this part here. It is Bakelite. Um, this is... Something's 5 eighths of an inch. What's 5 eighths of an inch? Maybe the width here. <laughs> what a weird measurement to take for or maybe I wrote it wrong. Okay, so this part is like two inches long. What is five eighths? Ah, maybe the width of that. I don't know why I wrote that. Anyway, I'm thinking it's a buckle, possibly. I'm not totally sure. 
Tell me you Bakelite lovers. Um, and we're going to do this piece for $5. $5. Uh, let's see. I've got another Waiting in Davis. If you're a Waiting in Davis fan, here you go. A clamper bracelet. $15 on this one. Um, right now it's sitting at, I would say a six, um, six and a quarter guys, but it does have a little bit of room. It's in pretty good condition. Some wear on the back, but the front or outside of it looks great. Um, again, $15 on the Waiting in Davis. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh my gosh, look at this little kitty, you guys. I have a couple cat brooches today, so if you are a cat lover, definitely stay tuned to look at this little cutie. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is Signer. I believe that's how you pronounce that. C-I-N-E-R. Nice piece. Um, one inch. Oh, $50. Wow. I forgot that I had looked this up and this is a really good piece. So 50 on the Signer brooch. So with my more expensive things like that brooch, it'll probably end up on eBay for more money. Um, but I always want to show it to you guys first and uh, give you first shot at it and first shot at a deal because I do mark things down for you guys. Um, okay, we have a set here. This is by Roxanne <laughs> Asulin. A-S-S-O-U-L-I-N. Roxanne Asulin. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Look at all those AB crystals. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can show you her mark. Uh, and then you guys can see it. I'm going to put the thing on. Give me a little eyeball. It says Roxanne Asuin. A-S-S-O-U-L-I-N. Brooch is an inch and a half wide. And it has matching gorgeous earrings. They are post earrings. Gold tone with those beautiful AB crystals also. Um, these are an inch and three quarter drop. And we can do this set for $35. $35. Door knocker style earrings. And I believe they have all their bits. I have checked them over. Um, it's another name that I'm probably not going to pronounce correctly. Um, let me see. Bergerier. <laughs> Bergerier. B-E-R-G-E-R-E. -E -E. Okay. And it is on here. Let me see. Oh. There we go, B-E-R-G-E-R-E. -E -E. And if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I would love to know how to pronounce it. I hate that when it's a word I've only seen printed and I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, they are clips, they're in perfect condition, you guys. Um, this measurement is an inch and a half. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm reading my mom's writing. <laughs> inch and a half drop, I think she means, and inch and a quarter wide, okay. Thank you, Mom, for helping me label lots of this. I appreciate you. Oh, this is a cool ring, you guys. Um, so I think it's meant to be a faux opal. Isn't that cool? It's so neat looking. I really, really like it. Um, it is, let's see, a nine and a quarter. So pretty on, too. I really, really like it. Um, I believe this is glass. It's cold. has a sawtooth setting. And a, like cute adders to the band there. Uh, and it's going to be $10. $10 on this one. Okay. Did you see that it was number 21? I felt like I blocked it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I have a couple big light pieces. I figured I would show you guys. I don't know um, if you're interested or not. So these are something. <laughs> There's some glue here, glue residue. Um, there is like a hole here. Where is it? But you see the shape? They're really cool. I'm not sure. Um, I thought at first they were beads. Like maybe the bead goes this, the string goes through that way. And I guess that could be. I'm just not positive, you guys. Um, so the two Bakelite, I'm gonna call them beads, I would do for $4. And I did test these again with Simichrome. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Simichrome polish, or I've heard, never tried, that 409 cleaner um, will show you 
if your item is Bakelite. With Simichrome polish, it's a pink polish. And if you rub it on your item, um, the polish will turn a yellowy, tobacco-y color, almost like this caramel Bakelite. It will look like that. And that will tell you that your item is Bakelite for sure. And every single time I start testing Bakelite, this is a Bakelite dye. Um, every, it's not the jumbo one, guys. I know there are jumbo ones that are big bucks. This one's a half an inch, um, $3 on this. Every time I start testing Bakelite, I'm always like, oh, what am I going to know? Was that like dirt? Blah, 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 blah. And then I hit a Bakelite item and I'm like, oh yeah, you always know. You know, you'll know, I promise. <laughs> so if you're testing, you will know for sure what is Bakelite. <laughs> It will look like you wiped, I don't even know, something gross. <laughs> look at this angel, you guys. I did re-glue her here. You can see it a little bit. She's so cool. I think she's an ornament. I think she's fantastic. Um, she is five inches wide, four and a half inches tall, and she's $5. I don't know why she was randomly in here, but she was. <laughs> She's very cool. Oh, some more kitty cats. Let's see what these guys are. I think these are Boucher. Yes. Look at them. Aren't they fantastic? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> really excellent quality. There's the Boucher mark. Inch and a half wide. And $30 on this one, guys. $30. Right now, they're um, the only ones available on eBay are forty. Okay, just so you know, um, you know how I priced it. Uh, let's see what else do we have. We've been out in all the expensive stuff. We need some. We need some bargains here, Julie. Okay, this is a good bargain. A ring. I actually know this stone, you guys. Unikite, and it it's a metal wrap ring. Someone did a really beautiful job with and twisted the metal here and flattened it here, maybe. I'm not totally sure. It's really awesome. So it's a Unikite metal mat wrapped ring. It's a seven and a half, and it's gonna be ten dollars. Look how cool that is. So pretty. Did I measure anything on here for you? I didn't. Would you guys like to know how long that stone is? Let's, let's look. It is about an inch, okay? About an inch. Okay, I found some more Bakelite. Continue on the Bakelite train. All right, let's see. We've got Bakelite buttons. Again, they tested. They're really cute. Nice yellow color. Um, they are three quarters of an inch and I'll do $8 on the pair of buttons. Eight dollars. Okay. Unfortunately, I think the lady that I bought this from wasn't sure how to test for Bakelite, and she did sell me a lot of stuff that didn't turn out to be Bakelite, which is a little bit of a bummer, but I'm going to talk to her about it. I think it will be fine. Um, these are Bakelite. Um, are these caramel? I don't think so. I think these are just yellow. Um, let's get a measurement on them. Ah, they come in at an eight, an eight, guys. And there is a pair, and I'm going to sell them as a pair. Don't they make the best noise? So cool. Um, and the pair, $20. $20 on the pair. I think there are some people that actually are so good with Bakelite that they can tell by that sound <laughs> that it is Bakelite, or it's one of the things they use to tell. I am, like I said, not a Bakelite pro. I need my Simichrome. Okay, this is also Bakelite, and I'm trying to find where the face is so I can explain. There we go. No. Yes, sorry. <laughs> nose. Do you see the nose right there? Eye, some kind of headdress, chin. So it's a Bakelite cameo. It's not attached to anything. It is a freewheeling piece. <laughs> it's three quarters of an inch, and I will do $10 on this. $10. Maybe I would have a bezel to put that in, but I don't know if I should put a modern bezel with Bakelite. I don't know. That's probably not great. 
Okay, these guys I forgot to glue back together and noticed right before I was turning the camera on. So I will glue this back together. These are Bakelite. Oh, so we have one. I thought we had both of them. Okay, so I'm going to put new earrings on these. Maybe I should put posts. I do have posts. I'm going to try to glue posts on these guys because I think posts would be more popular or okay let's do this if you would like to buy these gorgeous Bakelite earrings um let me know if you want posts or clips I can glue whichever on and I believe I have clips I hope I do anyway I can glue whichever on and I'll just make sure they're staying before I ship them out to you or anything because I wouldn't want you to get something that wasn't working um these are an inch wide and I'll do this pair for eight dollars eight dollars so if you buy those, not only do you need to tell me the number of the item, you need to tell me if you want posts, posts or clips. I definitely have posts. I know that for sure. I'll have to double check, check on the clips. I probably could come up with one out of the craft lot though. Um, okay. So we've got a stick pin and this is Goldstone, I believe. <laughs> it looks like it to me. Um, Goldstone is a man-made created stone. I believe that's what that is there. Um, stick pin. It does not have a bottom on this one, guys. Um, two and a quarter inches long. And this one's going to be $10. Look how pretty. <laughs> $10. All right. Next, we got some cookies. Okay, these are one inch. They are not signed, but they are really cool. Look at the different pinks in there. So cool. Pretty good condition. A little bit of wear on the backs. Four dollars. Four dollars on those. Oh, I'm really reaching now, guys. <laughs> it takes me longer and longer between each one as I get to the end of the table. But then we come back and start a new row, so we'll be good again. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so pretty. Wait till you see. These are BSK. I'll show you the marking. Oh, do you know what I just noticed? Tell me if you see it. Tell me if you see it in the comments, guys. I think some stones have been replaced. Oh no, there's a missing stone. Oh no. Okay. I'm going to set those aside, guys. That's a bummer. Aren't they beautiful? I had to pause for some dog barking. Hopefully, I'll be able to edit it out, and you guys will not have the nuisance of that. But I was able to open up a bunch of stuff. There's a package out there from Kristen D. That's what they're barking at. That's a male got person. Okay, these are Bakelite, you guys. Um, I didn't see all that crud. <laughs> They look to be very dirty. <laughs> that is kind of grody. Sorry, guys. I didn't see that or I would have cleaned it. Um, they're in okay condition besides that. <laughs> um, they're screwbacks. They're a half an inch. It is Bakelite. And I will do these for $6. And if you'd like me to clean them, I will try. <laughs> is there a special cleaner you use on Bakelite, you guys? I don't know. Well, obviously 409 doesn't hurt it, so maybe that's the answer. I don't know. Okay, we've got this pretty set. Wait till you guys see. Look at this color. Isn't it fantastic? I love it so much. The brooch is three inches, and the earrings are one inch. It is not signed. It should be signed. Somebody should have been bragging about this set. It's pretty. Really pretty. Gold tone. Nice condition. Really nice condition. $10 for the set. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get it all in my hands there. Okay, let's see what else we've got. I don't know why I just sang. Sorry. Okay, we've got some Japan clippies in all different brown tones. It says Japan right here, right there. They're very, they're in very nice condition, you guys. Very nice condition. Um, and they are an inch. Most of these guys are an inch size, these beaded ones, $4. So I found some earrings and I am not totally convinced because I'm not a pro at it, but I am thinking they might be unmarked Miriam Haskell and I am so excited about it. 
So I think this is called Integlio. Am I saying that right? Um, so it is it is a brooch. It's a key shape, Integlio. I believe this is just, watch it be carnelian, you guys. It totally could be, you know. Maybe we should set it to the side till I get my gem tester, and then we'll know for sure. What do you think? Let's do it. Um, okay, got a feather brooch. It is three and three quarter inches long. It is very, very pretty. It is Coro. It's in great condition, you guys, and it's gonna be $8. She's a chunk, uh, not a chunker, but she's a big one. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, guys, I didn't really know this brand. Um, I'm learning a lot of brands, I have to tell you. Um, this is H-A-R, and I tried to figure out what that stand for, stood for, and I had a hard time with that. It's like a swan looking down on the swan with the uh, rhinestones, and the swan has rhinestone eyes. Um, it is a brooch. It is in good condition, really good condition. Again, it's H-A-R. If you know what that is, I'd love to know. It's two inches wide, and this one's going to be $30. $30 on that one. Okay, next one. Another name I didn't know. You guys should be on the lookout for it. This is made by, let's start here. And you can see it says made in France. And this part says Paris. And then this part is the lady's name, which is Leah Stein. L-E-A-S-T-E-I-N. Okay, this guy is two inches long. She makes a lot of different um, animal brooches. Really, really cool stuff, guys. Um, and this one is $20, $20. So look out for Leah Stein, it's a good one. Okay, next we have some cute button earrings. They are a marbled pink, pink and white. Um, cute little clippies, aren't they cute? I'm just checking to make sure there's no wear. They're not, they're not bad at all for their age, for sure. Maybe a little cleaning. These are an inch and a half wide, and I'm gonna do them for $3. $3. They kind of remind me of cotton candy. Okay, got a ring for you. So we have a pear-shaped diamond. Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> A bear shaped probably CZ <laughs> possibly acrylic it's not a diamond wouldn't that be awesome if that was a diamond that would be a good find <laughs> um okay and it's got this really cool band you guys look at all those cutouts it's really neat um gold tone and this one is a size seven and a half you can wear it with the faux diamond that way or this way Really cool. Tiny bit of wear here, if you guys can see it. I'll do it for $7. $7 on that one. Okay, we have another piece of cloisonne. And I know there's someone who watches. Forgive me, I've forgotten who it was. Talk to a lot of people now, which is so awesome. But I know there's somebody watching who loves cloisonne. So um, check out this cloisonne elephant and look how big he is. He's huge. He's amazing. Let me show you both sides. All sides, I should say. So, so cool. See his little eye right there? Trunk up means good luck, too. So that's really good. On a gold tone chain, you guys. Um, it is vintage. It has a spring ring clasp. So this guy has a 12-inch drop. And this little elephant, this big elephant, is 3 inches wide, here to here. Okay? And I can do this one for $25. $25. Right. I still have things open. This is so exciting. Okay, I got this guy. Look how cute he is. He's by Pell, P-E-L-L. -L. Some of the stones have some yellowing from age. It's kind of par for the course. It's an inch and a half wide. I, and let's get a height on it because it's taller that way. And, oh. Oh, hey, let's see. Maybe I meant inch and a half that way. Look at that, inch and a half. Crazy, that tricked my eyes so bad. More of an inch and a quarter wide. Did it trick your eyes? Sure did me. The camera always tricks me when I'm watching. 
I always try and guess like shoe sizes or whatever when Kristen D's showing them. I'm always wrong. Okay, inch and a half wide by Pell. Cute little teddy bear. We're going to do $10. $10. Uh oh, where's his bag? There it is. That's your covering, buddy. Don't lose it. Okay, we've got another ring. Check this one out. Isn't that a unique setting? It's so cool, isn't it? I think it's really cool. Uh, gold tone, um, $7 on this. It's a six and a quarter. Six and a quarter with a really cool setting. I don't know if you're seeing it very well, guys, but basically um, this is like an oval-shaped diamond. Um, and then there's, I keep saying diamond, you guys, they're not real diamonds, <laughs> an oval shaped faux diamond and little crystals next to it. Probably CZ, not positive. And this one is $7, size six and a quarter. I don't know why I keep saying diamonds. That's not good. <laughs> there are no diamonds today. Zero diamonds. <laughs> Okay, guys, so this was an incredible find. Um, this is a um, twerk necklace, and I'll show you it up close. It is by MMA, which is the um, Metropolitan Museum of Art, okay? And these guys, um, this is a gold-plated Scythian horseman. Do you see the horses? Um, torque necklace and it's fantastic you guys it's from 1977 um, and I don't think I have any measurements on here okay so let's do that together let's look at some measurements so let's give you the diameter is five inches sorry for the loud noise let's give you um, a circumference and I'll show you the marking too. Let me do that too. Don't let me forget. Remind me, guys. <laughs> okay. Circumference, if we can get it, is. It looks to be about a 15 and a half, guys. Let's see. Nope. More like a 16. 16 inch circumference. And this little opening here, I know that's important too. Um, this opening is about two and three quarter inches. And it's really, really cool, you guys. Um, so let me find the marking for one second. Here it is. It says MMA 1977. It's awesome. So this little baby, you might be surprised to find out. Maybe you won't. The MMA stuff is always pretty good. Um, and what I believe happens is they make pieces based on actual art pieces. So maybe the Scythian Horseman is the art piece that they base this off of. I would have to look that up and I did not. <laughs> anyway, so this guy um, is on Poshmark right now for $350. Isn't that crazy? And it's the only one for sale, I believe, when I checked. Isn't that cool? So if you guys are interested, I would do $275. Okay, two seventy five. I realized I had to shut my video down, so I have no idea what where I was at time wise. So we'll just do a couple more pieces because I know that I was getting close. Um, got a pair of earrings here. Um, they have little cat's eyes, um, like beads on them. They're really cool. Um, tiny bit of wear, not awful guys. They are silver tone. They're not sterling. They are magnetic. Um, two inches wide and I can do these for $2. $2. Okay. Let's do, how many more pieces should we do? Let's do, uh, we'll do four pieces and then we're going to be done. Actually five because I know somebody might be interested in this. Oh, and six. These are really cool. <laughs> I could just film another video now. <laughs> These earrings, I think, are so cool. Oh, my gosh. Look how cool they are. They're like mod, fun. I like fun. Fun earrings. Look at them. Aren't they cool? <laughs> 
They're like poppy, moddy, I don't know. They're just awesome. They're two inches long, you guys, and I can do these for $3 in really good condition. $3. Okay, so we have a Napier brooch coming up. It is new in the box. Check it out. <laughs> it is navy blue. I thought it was black earlier. That's funny. Navy blue box, new in the box, Napier brooch, faux pearl, beautiful condition, gorgeousness. Okay. Um, this guy is two and a half inches long and I can do it for $10. $10. Hit the camera. Sorry, you guys. Um, okay. So we've got some more clippies. Clippy clippies. Let's see what we've got. These are an inch wide. I don't think they're marked. They are not marked. What a cool color though, huh? Uh-oh. What's that? Grossness or a problem? Grossness we can clean or a problem we can't. Um, guys, I'm not going to mess with them. I'm going to set them aside and not sell them to you just in case. And I will look at them later. Okay, these guys are Mark Japan beaded clippies. Look at that center bead. Isn't that cool? Look at all the different colors in it. So cool. Oh, it's got a little stringer sticking out, a little wire from where it was uh, wired in. Let me see if off camera. I think it's fine. I will clip that, you guys. Um, these are an inch wide. They are Mark Japan right here and good condition. And I will do those for $4. $4. Okay, let's see. Got another set of Japan's. Another set of Japan. Japan clippies. Ooh, wee. Look at that's not totally um flat, guys. It has like ridges to it. That's so cool. That's so cool. Is that yucky or just part of it? Just part of it. That's the whole. Um, okay, they are marked Japan right there. Really good condition. Uh, inch. And these are also $4. $4. Okay. Okay, last piece for right now, you guys. Here we go. And I have made it through without coughing, which is so amazing. Napier brooch. It is an inch wide. It is in excellent condition, you guys. I would call this a wreath style. I believe it's marked right there. It looks like it. I think that's where the marking is. Let's see. Yep. Okay. $7 on this guy. $7. Ooh, look at that, guys. We ended at 50. I didn't even try that. Woohoo. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. Um, do you know what I did? I didn't think of a question again, you guys. Oh, I did last night. I remember. Do you guys lay in bed and then think about all the things that you need to take care of the next day or the things you didn't get to that day? I do. It's a bad habit. But last night I was laying in bed and I was thinking, what would be a good question for you guys? And I think an awesome question that I would love to hear about are holiday traditions, like your favorite family holiday tradition. Um... I'm going to use one for my childhood because uh, Jeff and I don't have children. So holiday traditions, I think a lot of them are based around the children and we don't have children. So um, we don't have, we have things we do, but not a lot of traditions that we keep going at the holidays. So anyway, when I was a child, my mom did this really cool thing. Um, every single year as we were growing up, we would get an ornament based on whatever she thought was the most incredible, special moment of that year okay so like when I learned to read I got an ornament and it was a lady in a rocking chair reading um or when I learned to ride a bike I got a bicycle ornament or um I'm trying to think when I bought my first house I got a house when I got a dog I got a dog um I'm trying to think of other ones they're they're awesome they were awesome but anyway um when I decorate my Christmas tree I kind of do like a rustic foresty kind of tree so I don't really put those ornaments on my tree anymore so I made them into an awesome wreath so they hang on the wall and I can see them all and I gotta tell you I just love it love 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 it so anyway there's my tradition I would love to hear about yours even if they're a paragraph long I love reading the comments I read every single one I appreciate all of you 
So you guys remember, you can be anything you want in this world. So please choose to be kind. And there may be some mountains coming up after this if you're interested. Thanks so much. Bye. Driving through the mountains to Vermont. I thought I would show you guys. We're going right through. The old man in the mountain used to be right here, I think. Yeah, over there. <laughs> but he fell down. I can still see the dog. Can you see it all? I hope this isn't too wobbly. I just thought I'd show you. It's so pretty through here. These are the White Mountains, right? Yes. White Mountains of New Hampshire. And this is your view as you drive. Isn't it cool? The roads literally carved through them. Okay, just thought I'd show you. Now we have Vermont Mountains. I should have filmed a couple seconds earlier. It was way better. Okay, I'm going out in front. We're like five minutes from the Canadian border. That's where Hub's family is.